Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a huge uh, yard drain, French drain. We're running six inch pipe. And you can see our trench right here. You notice it's a lot, lot wider because six inch is about seven and a half inches, almost eight inches wide to the outside diameter. So it makes it a tough, a little bit tougher of a dig. If you're gonna do this by hand, you're gonna have some fun. You can see what we're doing inside there by the pool. Same thing, this line actually starts clear over by the driveway. And you can kind of see the rise of the hill here. We're making our line go down through that swale um, and it'll end up in the swell right there behind Chuck. There's a electric line here, so it makes it a little bit tougher to do with the trencher and you end up having to do it by hand. This job is actually in Columbia, South Carolina, a suburb to the west. And from Charlotte to Columbia, South Carolina is about a two hour drive. This customer found our live help, our Skype video conferencing, and signed up online and explained his problem. The problem here really wasn't so much the installation, was more that he had quotes of 39,000 plus to solve this problem. When he contacted us, it was very intriguing. Someone wanted to charge $39,000 to put in a drain. I just had to come down here and see this. And sure enough, when we got down, very straightforward, not an easy project, and one that he was ready to tackle himself, but just did not have the time. You know, using our live help, our Skype video conferencing, we can definitely help you in many ways. Although we do not service, you know, the entire country, and I wish that we did, you can definitely learn a lot, find out what it actually costs to install your system. If you have a question about your install or how to install something, or if you're getting a very large, very high quote, use our live help. Sign up online just $25 per session and we try to do as many as we can every day right now we're doing three or four every day um, and if you live you know close enough and your project is really a tough one you'd like us to come take a look we can definitely come and do that as well so this is the discharge point of this yard drain it's about 360 feet total and this last little section we've got to dig by hand because there's utilities here and of course it's ending here at grade level so it's only about 10 feet of really tough digging and then it starts to get you know very shallow again here's the backyard and this was a very very low area here so we're putting a lot of our excess soil here and we'll knock that down grade it out you can see how low it really is here you can see the water still standing um, it hasn't rained for a couple days. Main trench goes through and under the fence. You can see we've got a six inch wide trench that goes all the way through. We actually had to go underneath the deck over there. A lot of sprinklers to go under. We'll hook up that downspout. There's also a sump pump coming out of the crawl space that'll tie into our trench as well. But you can see there's sprinklers everywhere here. Really makes it a hard dig, but you can do it. Something that's not that hard to do. And you can see we went right underneath of the footer of this deck because it's, you can get underneath of there. And again, our trench goes right through a little frog in our trench. Can you see him? <laughs> our trench goes right underneath the deck. We had to go around the pier and it comes out the other side. The water's been coming you know, down the hill here off of the pool deck just totally flooding this area here. So they had a catch basin and a small four inch line, but if you notice, the catch basin is, is actually pretty high. Water had to flood pretty high just to get into this basin. So it, it just quite, whoever put it in just didn't quite get it right. You can see the sprinkler lines. Again, got to go underneath and over all of these. Hook up these downspout drains. Huge bundle of sprinklers here coming out there are everything's going over here to the pool house so there's power as well We've got a couple conduits coming over there Terry's connecting these lines together we're almost there 
our line continues on around it actually begins over here behind that trailer this is all going to be gravel perforated pipe we actually cut the water line here had to make a repair i've showed you how to do that several times we'll clean out clean this out here we'll put gravel base in four inch excuse me six inch uh, perforated pipe cover that with gravel we're going to bring it all the way to grade in other words we're going to bring that gravel right up to here so now we're getting ready to put a base of gravel we're just using gravel by the bag here um, come into the catch basin perforated pipe will lay on top of the base of gravel and we're going to bring that gravel to grade and no we are not going to wrap this with fabric because it'll just get clogged up within a few years the gravel will last about 10 to 12 years and then of course just like a roof it's going to need to be replaced hey good morning chuck here with apple drains today we're finishing an install we're going to be putting in about 60 70 feet of gravel perforated pipe which is running all the way around this house discharging into six inch and on out to a swell on the other side you can see all the catch basins that we're putting in here if you go to Lowe's and buy catch basins expect to spend some money what do we've got here we've got three of the 12 inch and four of the nine inch this is about three hundred and forty dollars worth of material just right here catch basins are not cheap we're also running you know four inch pipe which you've seen us run before but we're also running six inch line and you can kind of see the difference here of four inch of four inch versus six inch you know, here's a four inch piece and here's a six inch piece it's it's just tremendous you know size difference when you run six inch but be prepared to pay for that six inch very expensive to run six inch pipe so so some of the catch basins are you know in line in other words water's running through it and dropping in from the top but other ones are not either way you got to take these screws out to get to the inside of this and you can see there's lots of them to do because we're running six inch pipe this is a four inch adapter and this it's kind of a pointless thing how this is made we're going to adapt because we don't want to reduce the pipe you know the, the flow of water we're actually just going to slide our six inch right inside this opening and the way we do that is we cut the we slice the top of the six inch pipe and we just stick it in we'll stick it in about two inches on both sides so let's go ahead and set up all these catch cases. again i like to use the handy dandy drill just pull your screws out that way you can get to the inside of all this stuff these are nine by nine inch catch basins they work really good and this is a 12 by 12 catch basin you can see the difference right away the interesting thing is let me pull this off and you can see it People get confused about catch basins. Um, yeah, it, it catches more water, allows it in quicker. But again, the same, this came out of here. This is a four inch discharge. So again, if you're running six inch pipe, you're really slowing that water flow down as it comes in or out of the catch basin. So again, what we're going to do is we're gonna just stick, stick our six inch right inside the catch basin. We got a lot of them to put in. There's over 360 feet of pipe here. Lots of water to pick up. That's why we're running the six inch. So basically these adapters become obsolete. We might use them for something else, but I rather doubt it. A couple more to set up. Twelve inch great versus a nine inch great. There's really not any difference 
water is going to pour into this. It doesn't matter. It's the discharge that makes the difference. Whether you have a six inch catch basin, a nine inch or a 12 inch, it's the out, you know, the outlets makes the difference of how fast that water actually gets out of that area. So one more to set up. Whoop, sorry. <laughs> We will use the very first one is just going to be a single outlet so we're going to keep this little plug in here and put this together this will be the beginning of the line so the nine inch grate sits on the top but nothing's coming in this side because this is the beginning of the line so you keep that cap on there and we're going to run our six inch right out through there so you can see we have a small base of gravel down into the bottom of the pipe. Remember, we're running perforated pipe with holes pointing down. This will point into the gravel. We'll lay that down the trench. And then we're going to bring all that gravel. Then we'll bring our gravel all the way up here to grade. And the reason that we're doing that is that you can see these yards and there's five or six yards the water is just coming down this hill and it's just been flooding right across this driveway so we want this gravel to act as a giant channel drain and what that'll do is the gravel has voids in it between each piece of gravel there's going to be a void that'll allow the water to drop right down into the system down to the bottom it'll flood up into the pipe and be carried away okay so we've got our gravel perforated pipe installed the French drain, catch basins. You can see we brought our gravel to grade because we wanted to act as a channel drain. Comes down, another catch basin right here. Makes a corner, <coughs> switches to solid pipe, <coughs> six inch solid. We're gonna make that sprinkler repair, you can see. A lot of sprinklers when you're trenching, a lot of cuts. Six inch pipe comes down, there is a drain here and at the driveway that we actually was an add-on they wanted to put a drain over there by the driveway brought that down you can see six inch nice 12 inch basins lots of sprinklers <laughs> lots and lots line comes around what we're going to do is we're going to actually hook up this existing catch basin by drilling a hole right over here and we'll run four inch just run it right down into our six inch pipe line continues on around I know it's dark right there you can see we've got another 12 by 12 basin the six inch actually goes under this little deck and comes out on the other side let's walk over there and take a look right through the strawberry patch over here we're still hooking up pipe but we're gonna hook up that downspout there's a sump pump that comes out there too Another catch basin will go right here. You can see that catch basin. Six inch continues on out all the way to the swell. We added another um, 12 by 12 catch basin in this low spot. And you can see our excess soil will grade this area out, kind of force it into that basin. Some sprinkler repairs over here. What a mess. <laughs> and the line continues, you know, on out to the swell. Got good fall, systems should work really good. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. No matter how hot, how cold, if you believe you can make this happen, get this in the ground. Yeah, it's some work, but you can do it. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. You know, this video was a great example of how our live help can actually save you some serious money. This customer saved 10, 15, $20,000 by using our live help. If you're close enough to our area, we might be able to come down and actually do your install. If you're more than two or three hours away, it makes it really difficult. 
And that's why we've come up with this, the video conferencing via Skype, $25 per session. Sign up today.